So ends the Terregnum. And now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. my hero. The others are all dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. But whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo.